Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tasca Automation Tutorial. As you all know, I have already published 72 YouTube videos covering beginners level, intermediate level and advanced level concepts of Tricentis Tasca Test Automation. From few videos onwards, I have started teaching you the real time scenarios where you might encounter different types of obstacles and how can we solve those obstacles while automating your test cases. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you. This is our lesson 73 in terms of overall Tricentis Tosca automation tutorial and this is our obstacle 31 in terms of real time scenarios. In this session, I am going to teach you how can we solve an obstacle where you need to select a random item from the drop down list or the combo box based on the random text that is generated in your application. So now let us see in detail what is the obstacle that we are going to solve for. So here is the obstacle list that we are working from past few videos. So today's obstacle is the obvious and which is categorized as easy. So let us go for it. So it says generate a random string and select it in the combo box below. So to generate the random string you need to click on this button which generates the random string and then you need to select this random string from the drop down. So if you see the drop down you will have the same random string here. So which one I think this is first one. So you can select this and submit it. That means your automation problem solved successfully. So let me again try again okay. If I generate random text now you can see this is pk0g right now let go here and which is second one i think yeah yeah this is second drop down so you can select this second drop down and submit so that means our automation problem successfully completed now let us see how can we automate this particular scenario or how can we solve this obstacle for that let us go to tricentis tosca as usual we are going to scan the application to capture the objects or elements that are required for this scenario. For that right click on this obstacles module folder select scan application select the application that is required and then click on scan. So here now we need to select one, two, three, four. Total four objects needs to be selected. The first one is generate random text, and then you need to capture the generated random text, and then the combo box. This one choose obstacle course and then submit button. So all of these are if you observe at the bottom all of these are uniquely identified right you can see selected item is unique. So now let us rename the module with the name of obstacle. So copy this and then paste it here and now save the module. and close X scan and then let us go to Tricentis Tosca and if you scroll down to the bottom so this is the module that we have captured just now double click on this to see all the objects that we captured are displaying here not one two three four we have now 
so now we are done with capturing all the objects that are required for the automation and now let us come to the left section of test case section which is blue section here under obstacles folder let us create a new test case right click on obstacle folder select create test case and name this with the same name of obstacle and now double click on this test case so to automate the test case we need to drag and drop this module just drag and drop here so what is our first action that we need to perform first action is we need to click on generate random text so here let us rename this as generate random text so here you need to click on this button so enter x here so once that is done i want to again drag and drop the module again onto the test case so then what we need to do we need to buffer the text whatever the generated text that we have here that needs to be buffered we need to store into a variable so for that what i'm going to do here i'm going to write buffer the generated random text okay now here to buffer the generated random text come here select inner text and name this as random text i'm storing the inner text into a buffer so here your action mode should be buffer so this is done so what is our next action next action is you need to select the same value that is displaying here so here you need to select the same value this one right for that again drag this module and drop onto your test case now here what i'm going to do i'm going to rename this as select combo box item with random text with above random text i'll say okay so here what we need to do here this is our select box so basically this obstacle is very easy to solve but why i am teaching this because you encounter this kind of scenarios many times in real time okay so here now to select the drop down value from the combo box what we are going to do i'm going to simply call this random text buffer here how can i call here i can simply open curly braces capital b open square braces random text close square braces close curly braces so here i am selecting the value from the drop down which is equal to the value that i have stored in the buffer and then you need to click on submit button let's again drag and drop here the same module and here rename this as click submit button expand this and here you need to select submit which is you need to pass x so once that is done now our automation is completed basically what we are doing we are using this module multiple times because it is recommended not to use parameters at a time for single module so that's why we are calling this module multiple times and performing each action in different modules first i am generating the text and then i am storing the generated text into buffer and then i am selecting the item from the combo box by using the buffer value and then i am clicking on submit button so now let us change the work state as completed and now save the test case before we run the test i think we are making one mistake here so here 
this is actually your random text directly so here i need not to take the inner text for this okay so i can directly take the random text basically the text whatever it is appearing i can store this into a buffer called random text why because this is actually a text box i'm simply buffering this text into a buffer so that's why i'm i can directly specify the buffer name and select the action mode as buffer so that's the small modification that we need to do and now save this and now let us run the text before running the test again let us go back to application and click on try again now let us run the test and see if it runs successfully right click and then run in scratch book perfect so you can see here now it generated and it selected the drop down value let us run one more time to make sure it works for every random text right click and run in the scratch book perfect so you can see here now it basically selected the item from drop down which is equal to this text so this is how you can solve the obstacle so if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries thank you hope you all understand how can we solve an obstacle where you need to generate the random text and you have to buffer that random text so that you can use the buffered value to select an item from the combo box please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos please don't forget to like and share the video thank you